Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we have a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates, and I'd like to start with this one, it's about Big Ramy and this short little video that he posted, I wanted to analyze this, tell you what I think, uh, so basically at two and a half weeks out of Arnold Classic, Big Ramy posted this short little video, and you might think it's weird because he's not really hitting a pose, but I get what happened here, he was probably taking a video to update his coach Chad Nichols on his current uh, condition and uh, he probably liked this part of the video where he was setting up to do probably back double bicep and so he liked his conditioning, he liked his muscularity and it does look pretty impressive. Now from what I'm seeing right here is I think Big Ramy actually looks pretty good. If you are wondering whether we're gonna see the old Big Ramy of 2020 or 2021 I don't think we're gonna see that, I don't think that's gonna happen, we already saw a photo of Big Ramy's back, we already saw it a couple of days ago, and it pretty much looked similar to this, as you can see his triceps are still very much down in size, and also you can't really see significant improvement in his back, it looks pretty much the same to me, we'll see on stage, but I think the same issues that were there at the Mr. Olympia are gonna be present, at the Arnold Classic. I'm sure you guys have heard that Big Remy has done the stem cell treatment and Dr. Khan here in this post says that Big Remy is going to be improved on stage. When he is back on stage we will see the improvement. So he thinks his back is gonna look better, he thinks it already does a little bit, that's what he said, but I mean I don't know, personally I don't really see it. The other thing is his lower body and the problem with his lower body from behind were those bumps on his glutes, on his upper glutes and I think those look better, I think those definitely look smaller, you can still notice them but it's not as prominent as it was on the Mr. Olympia stage. Maybe the situation is gonna be the same once he gets shredded and dehydrated for the stage but I don't think so, I mean, he received so much criticism about that, so I hope they changed something, I mean, the only reason, the only logical explanation that I can come up with for why this is happening is because he's injecting too much oil in his glutes, so I'm hoping he changed the injection spot now. I mean, there aren't really that many options left, if he can't pin his quads and his glutes, and obviously he can't pin his lats, because that's probably why he messed them up, the only thing that he has left is shoulders, and then there are some other body parts that are not super common, but you can do them, like rear delts, like upper chest, maybe even calves, you can only inject so much oil in your shoulders before it starts really showing and hurting, so yeah, it can be tricky, maybe he's gonna lower the amount of gear that he's using, that would fix the issue, I don't know what's gonna happen, but as for right now, based on this update, I think his glutes are looking a little bit better, I'm curious to see what his quads from the front look like, I think those dents in his quads are probably worse than the bumps on the glutes, and he can hide these if he pulls his trunks <laughs> lower a little bit, I mean, he really pulled them up high to show the striations in his glutes, and he does have very striated glutes, and that's one of his strengths these days, believe it or not, yeah, but uh, yeah, I think it's hurting him more if he has this, this issue right here, because it doesn't look very good, it's not a good look. As far as conditioning of Big Ramy at two and a half weeks out of Arnold Classic, I think it's okay, I think it's good, I think it's gonna be really good, uh, if you compare it, for example, to Samson Dauda, who really seems to be bringing something new to the stage and I believe is going to be better than what Big Ramy brings, I think this is the time, this is the year where Samson surpasses Big Ramy, but as far as conditioning solely, I think Big Ramy is probably in better conditioning, especially in the glutes, but Samson is kind of known for never really having shredded glutes, uh, Big Ramy's glutes are definitely way more sharp, he's not as hard in the, in the back and maybe hamstrings, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident, come showtime, Big Ramy's conditioning is gonna be just fine, however, he will be, in my opinion, defeated 
by the likes of Samsung Dauda because of the freshness factor. Because these guys, look at the triceps or Samsung, for example. Look at the freshness difference in the back. Like, look at the shape of Big Remy's back. It's not very good. So, overall, a conclusion is Big Remy does not really look much improved. I think his conditioning is gonna be good. I don't think there is a reason to worry about that. Maybe he's also trying to bring a little bit fuller and bigger package. And in that way, maybe his weaknesses that were present at Mr. Olympia are gonna be a little bit better if he's a little bit fuller with a tiny bit worse conditioning. But overall, do I see him much improved? No, I have him placing sixth at the Mr. Olympia based on these updates that we're seeing. Uh, so guys, tell me what do you think in the comment section down below. Do you agree with me or do you disagree? Whatever is on your mind, please let me know down below. All right, the next story is about Patrick Moore, and I find this one particularly interesting because Patrick Moore right now in this physique update looks so much better than all the others before. Now, I have to admit, and I'm sure you guys have noticed, I was hating, let's say, let's call it that way, let's put it that way, I was just being honest, but let's say I was hating on Patrick Moore's physique uh, coming to this Arnold Classic, because all of his updates so far were super underwhelming, he did not look like he can be really competitive in this tough of a lineup. I thought he looked way too small compared to the like top guys who are doing this show, and I mean, he probably does, but I also thought that his conditioning is way off. So he posted, for example, this back shot, back double bicep, probably second most important pose of them all, in which you can't really hide too much of your weaknesses. Like, if you're weak from the back, you're gonna show it right here, and you're also gonna show if your conditioning is off. Now, he's not showing his lower body, so you can't get an idea what his hamstrings and glutes are looking, but here you could see that his lower back was definitely not on point for three weeks out. However, as you can see, I highlighted that hashtag that I somehow missed, uh, which said Flashback Friday. So what the hell does this even mean? Is he playing games with us, posting old photos? I don't know, man, but this photo that he posted today, this looks pretty good, actually. He looks pretty wide through the shoulders, right? And his arms are looking pretty big. And his conditioning is actually coming along. I mean, he looks much harder now than in all of his previous updates. So I don't know if he just started pushing things really hard after everybody has been criticizing him, or was he playing mind games with his competitors by tricking us, you know, news outlets? I'm not sure, I don't know, but I gotta say, based on this photo right here, he does look pretty good, like he does look much harder, much bigger, and overall more impressive than I expected him to look at this point. And here is a video as well, I mean, he does look really wide and really hard and like much bigger than I expected him to be. And knowing how small his waistline is, I mean, look at the separation in his delts right here and his chest, and he looks definitely much bigger than before. So, honestly, I'm impressed. I was not expecting Patrick Moore to look this good at this point. So maybe it's just like the lighting, the angle, the mirror or something like that. Of course, we still have to wait and see him on stage and see how he compares against the other guys, but from what I'm seeing right here only, based on these photos and the videos, this does look promising. If he brings crazy conditioning and the small waist and overall aesthetics that he is known for, maybe he can take out a couple of guys, like for example Kamau El Gargni, like Akim Williams, like Justin Rodriguez, I don't want to say he can beat Big Ramy, but who knows, maybe Big Ramy is going to be much worse than Mr. Olympia, and this guy brings something crazy, so, like, this looks promising, that's all I'm going to say, whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. And next, we have an update of Sergio Oliva Jr., and it's been a long time since we saw an update like this of Sergio. Now, if you guys remember, the last time we saw this guy on stage, it was Legion Sports Festival, where he took, I think, third. Like, uh, Sean Clarita proved to be a giant killer, because he beat Sergio and Regan Grimes. Regan was uh, actually second, and both of these guys, Regan and Sergio, both are taller bodybuilders. They are, like, six foot or something like that. 
I think Sergio might be even taller than Regan. So these guys are like really, really big. And they were beaten by Sean Clarida, who is five foot one. So that was the night when Sean became the giant killer. And if we're gonna be honest, yes, that was arguably, I think probably Regan's best addition ever. But it was one of Sergio's worst. I don't think he was conditioned, not nearly enough. And you could see all the weaknesses because he wasn't he wasn't conditioned, he didn't pick properly. And one of his weaknesses were obviously his arms. I mean, look at the bicep peaks uh, on Sergio and compare them to those of Sean Clarida, for example. I mean, Regan is also known for having small arms, but look at look at Sean Clarida's biceps and triceps, like how big they are compared to the rest of his body. Sergio didn't really have that, and I would say until now, because look at his freaking arms right now. I mean, look at that right arm. Look at the... I mean, he has super, super long muscle bellies, both triceps and biceps. Like, he doesn't have those peaky, short biceps. He has those long, freaking long muscle bellies, but he got them pretty peaky, pretty big. And, like, they're forming... They're almost forming a circle... So when you're looking at this photo right here, you would say that this guy is freaking arm dominant. So he definitely made some serious progress. And also, if you guys watch the podcast with Flex Lewis, Sergio basically says that what he's going to bring this year to the stage is going to be his absolute best so far. And you say, would you say that this is going to be, because of all the new circumstances, the best ever Sergio that we've all yet to be seen yet? Yeah, it has to be. It has to be because... Been, it's been too long of me not being who I should be. And I think this is kind of expected. It's been about a year, more than a year, since that show. And since then, Sergio moved to Dubai. And we've seen some photos, some videos of him really training very hard. In that video with Larry Wills, he spoke about how, how much food he's eating, how tough it is for him to eat enough to grow, and that he's trying really hard. And I think all that hard work paid off. I think he's much bigger than he ever was. And I believe the next show he's gonna do is gonna be Arnold Classic South America, Arnold Classic Brazil. And based on these size improvements that he made, I think he has a legit chance of winning that show. Whatever you guys think though, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And also please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much guys for watching. All the best and bye bye.